So we, we knew that、uh, embryonic stem cells and skin cells, although they are very different, they have the same blueprint, which、uh, consists of approximately 30,000 genes. The differences between embryonic stem cells and skin cells are which out of 30,000 genes are red in each cell. So we thought that by uh, uh, instructing skin cells to read genes that should be read in embryonic stem cells, we can convert skin cells into ES embryonic stem cells. Many scientists they thought that we would need many genes. For example, we would need like 100 genes to convert skin cells into stem cells, embryonic stem cells. But it turned out we only need four genes, or now we only need three genes. So it's much easier, simpler than we thought. One of our main targets is spinal cord injury. And we, saw, we already saw therapeutic effects of iPS cells in animal models. So we make spinal cord injuries in animals. We then transplant neural cells derived, derived from iPS cells into the spine, the site of injury of those animals. And we did see a pot,、uh, therapeutic effects by transplanting those neural cells. Derived from iPS cells. So the next step is, of course, to bring the same therapy to patients. We have to do a clinical trial first. So our hope is to start clinical trial within the next five years. That's our、uh, goal right now. iPS cells are very similar to embryonic stem cells. We try to find, we try to generate stem cells which are very similar to embryonic stem cells. That means we really have to compare iPS cells and embryonic stem cells to prove that iPS cells can replace. Embryonic stem cells in the future.